Javai, it's Michael Frankel. We're at Lookouts PFS. We have Dennis Garcia with us. Warriors Quest, Art of War, next weekend, Clovis, New Mexico. How excited are you, sir? I'm pretty excited. It's been a while since I've had any fights, so. How long has the layoff been? Um, probably about a year. I was injured last year, like, really bad, so. I didn't know if I was going to come back, but things happen. <laughs> Okay, so what happened in the positive light to uh, be able to get you to come back to fighting? Well, just, I don't know, you get bored if you train enough and it, beco <clears throat> it becomes part of your life. So Then my leg, I was, I was shot last year, so kind of fractured my shit up. And, and now, what's the excitement, live action, getting back to it? I'm just excited to get back in there. It's been a while and I've seen a lot of people that I should have fought that, I mean, I could be, but, you know, I'm just excited to get back in. And then the myself. and the opponent is uh, his name is Nico Nathan I think I don't I'm pretty, I don't know a lot about him at all that's all you know is the name Nico Nathan yeah I've seen pictures of him but it's alright so then what does that do for you focusing on yourself heading into this it gets me more excited because like he's a, I don't know he's more of an, he's an experienced fighter he has like way more fights than I do I'm only like two and two so and then two. and then he has how many fights he has know? like seven or eight fights but. I'm like one based off his record, so. <laughs> so then what do you think about such an experienced task ahead of you? How does this change your mindset heading in? Just so I'm not nervous anymore. Like before I would get nervous just to be, you know, get in there, but now I'm just like, hey dude, you've been shot, it's worse that could happen. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's, there's other things worse than losing an MMA fight by now. Yeah, but it's worse than that for me. And then the last time we did an interview was a long time ago, another gym. <laughs> what has it been like now here at Lookouts? Lookouts, I mean, it's not much of a change. I mean, you got Coach Matt, and you know, I'll follow him to wherever he goes. But I've got a couple of experienced people come, you know, I, I wouldn't say it's like the greatest camp, but it's, I can do it. I work with anything. <laughs> We're like 10 days out from your fight right now, so the weight cut hasn't hit, but do, are you expecting a hard weight cut? <sighs> I'm. The weight cut's hitting, I'm just not sure right now. I've cut from a lot to here, and it, it's my first, how do you say, my first actual, like, hard workout it's before, because it's, like, before, like, I don't know, how do you do it with injuries? I'm doing it with an injury and trying to come with, and trying to perform as good as I'm supposed to, so it's kind of hard. Weight cut just makes it harder. So then, what kind of mindset do you go heading into the fight with? What, what's your thoughts about heading into the fight? What's your mindset? What do you want to get done in the fight? Oh, I just want to like show off more stuff. Because the last fight I had was I lost by the way. So. But this time I want to come in without being scared. And actually show off what I've learned. You, know, so. you think having one fight already, it takes away some of the tentativeness, some of those nerves? Kind of, yeah. So I guess I'm not afraid of losing away. The more I'm just, I want to win from now on. I think the last loss I had was the last loss. And then we've seen you at some of the smokers being a corner, getting in there and helping out with the coaches. What does that do for helping out your game? And like I said earlier, like, I didn't know if I wanted to fight before, so I was like, you know, I'll coach shit like that. But seeing them, it's like, oh, I can do this shit again. I mean, it's not hard if you think about it. But, but coaching people is, I don't know, got me pretty much back in. That makes sense. It's a gateway. <laughs> That way, the coaching opened you back up to, hey, I want to get active. Yeah, because being not active, watching everybody going from where I was to where I should have been, it's, it's depressing after all. <laughs> it got depressing. So, what are your expectations next Saturday? How do you get the win? I'm hoping for a knockout, but if it goes all three, then you know, it'll go all three. It'll test my abilities and you know, stuff like that. But knockout's what I'm going for. And then, who do you need to shout out to? Who do you need to thank? Shout out! I'll just shout out to Coach Matt, Coach Leva for letting me train here. People like that. People that's actually helped me. So, that's that. Dennis Garcia, thank you for the time, sir.